What's up, guys? It's MB Boxing, and today I'm going to be predicting the outcome of Merjahan Akhmadaliyev versus Jose Velasquez, and this is going to be a 12-rounder for the IBF and WBA Super Bantamweight World Championship, and this fight is going to be Friday, November 19th from the SNHU Arena in Manchester, New Hampshire, and this fight is going to be broadcasted on the zone. and to get into both fighters' resumes, Merjahan Akhmadaliyev fighting out of Uzbekistan, Holds a record of 9 wins, no defeats with 7 wins coming by way of knockout. He's currently ranked number 8 by BoxRec in the Super Bantamweight division. He's also the current unified IBF and WBA Super Bantamweight world champion. And to list some of his best victories, he has a split decision win over Daniel Roman and a knockout victory over Ryusuke Iwasa. And to get his opponent's resume, Jose Velasquez fighting out of Chile holds a record of 29 wins, 6 defeats, and 2 draws, with 19 wins coming by way of knockout. He's currently ranked number 18 by box rec in the Super Bantamweight division. And now to list his losses and his draws, he has a unanimous decision defeat to Rogel, um, or Francisco Rogel. He also has a unanimous decision loss to Juan Oyarzun, and he also has a also has a draw to um, Juan Oyarzun, and he has another split decision draw against Linier Juaman, and he also has a unanimous decision defeat to Miguel Gonzalez, and a, another unanimous decision defeat to Miguel Gonzalez in their rematch. He also has a unanimous decision loss to Robinson Lavinaza, and he also has a split decision loss to Lavinanza as well. But then in their trilogy, he got a unanimous decision victory. And now to list um, some of his best victories um, after that, he also has a unanimous, or should I say, majority decision victory over Cesar Ignacio Paredes, and he also has a knockout victory over Melvin Lopez, and one of his better victories was a unanimous decision victory over Ariel Lopez. And in my opinion, this fight is going to go in favor of the younger, more hungrier, hard-hitting um, unified champion, Merjahan Akhmadaliyev. I mean, Merjahan Akhmadaliyev has all the advantages here except for experience. Obviously, Velasquez has far more fights than um, Akhmadaliyev. I mean, his losses and draws are almost as many fights as Akhmadaliyev throughout his whole career thus far. But um, Akhmadaliyev, I mean, he's arguably fought better competition. I mean, his two best wins are against world class opponents in the super bantamweight division whilst Velasquez doesn't really have that world class win I know I did list some of his best victories but those are, but those are against guys who are like C um level opposition but um Akhmadaliyev I mean he's 5 foot 5 and a half inches tall Velasquez is only 5 foot 2 so he's got the advantage there same with the reach he's got an advantage um Akhmadaliyev is also a southpaw, and both these guys do love to come forward a bit. I mean, I watched some tape of Velasquez, and he's like a bull. I mean, he just comes forward, throws shots to the head, throws shots to the body, that typical Latin American style, very fun to watch. And um, I wonder how he'll do against a guy at this level like Akhmadaliyev. I mean, I believe that Akhmadaliyev was actually supposed to fight Ronnie Rios, which would have been a tougher fight, but Velasquez is always game. I mean, he's a decent fighter. I mean, as you can tell by his ranking, it's not that bad. He's ranked number 18. And this should definitely be a good win for Akhmadaliyev. Yes, I think Akhmadaliyev is going to win, and I'm saying it this early, because this isn't really much of a competitive fight on paper, or it really shouldn't be in the ring. Because Akhmadaliyev, he had a close fight with Roman, who's world level. He dominated, in my opinion, Iwasa. I know the stoppage was pretty premature, but still, he was leading that fight pretty clear. Um, and he was probably going to get a stoppage sooner than later if the referee didn't stop it then. But, um... Yeah, Akhmadaliyev, as I mentioned before, he's a southpaw, loves to come forward, he is the bigger man, arguably more powerful because of his size, um, we'll see how Velasquez does to sort of combat um, his disadvantages in height and stature and whatnot, but um, Velasquez should be the one just keeping keeping it coming, I could definitely see Akhmadaliyev um, stepping back a bit trying to counter Velasquez when he comes in, because he really just comes in head first, throwing hooks to the head, to the body and whatnot, and um, Akhmadaliyev should should just regroup sometimes, I mean, if he's trying to trade with him, it wouldn't be too smart to trade with the power puncher, I mean, both these guys are hard hitters, but um, yeah, I think that Velasquez will just come in, I mean, he's never been stopped, uh, I don't think he'll get stopped here, actually, he's got a really, really good chin from what I've saw, and it's some of the tape I've watched, I mean, he's taking big shots from fighters, and um, I think that he'll be able to take Akhmadaliyev's shots, and if Akhmadaliyev is able to get a stoppage over a guy who's never been stopped in six defeats, that'd be a statement, especially a guy at the ranking of a guy like Velasquez, but um, 
how I see this fight going down, as I mentioned earlier, Velasquez will be the one coming forward. Akhmedaliev will also come forward as well. I could definitely see both men coming forward, but Akhmedaliev will sometimes be the one sort of stepping back a bit and trying to counter Velasquez at some point throughout the fight. And I think every round will probably be the same with Akhmedaliev winning with ease. And I don't think Velasquez will be able to get his shots off pretty easy because of his disadvantages in stature, height, reach, etc. But um, Akhmedaliev should have a lot of success, land his combinations cleanly and crisply, and I think that he'll he'll be able to get a pretty wide unanimous decision victory. And I think the judges could score the bout anywhere from like one twenty one away to one eighteen to one ten. It could be that type of fight where Ahmed Aliyev um dominates, gets a wide decision victory and another title defense. So overall, I believe that Merjahan Akhmedaliev will defeat Jose Velasquez by unanimous decision. And once again, the judges will score the bout 120 to 108, 119 to 109, and 118 to 110. And uh, yeah, that's really it. I'm MB Boxing. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.